Hello everybody, just want to go ahead and do a quick video and just share a project that I had for Tabasco 14's birthday challenge. Happy birthday, Johnny! I uh, just want to go ahead and say congratulations on your milestone. Woohoo! I'm going to be 30 forever, just FYI. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm hoping that you had an amazing, a wonderful birthday. And in her uh, challenge for her birthday, she wanted you to do an altered item. And tried to do, I tried to do mine shabby chic with the pink and blues. Um, this is actually, uh, I used the Primrose uh, stack from Die Cuts with a View. Let me just go over here, sorry. Go over here, you can see my legs. <laughs> And I'll show you what I use. I use this um, decorative trim pink lace from Hobby Lobby. I got this cream colored lace decorative trim from Hobby Lobby. I use this ribbon fix um, that I think I got, I won, from Angela. So I think that's from Angela, who is, oh gosh, Queen Bee's Creations. Thank you, Angela. And these flowers, I used some of these. These came from Crafty Adriana. Thank you, Adriana. I was able to use them. These I got from Michaels. They were $1.25 when I bought them because they had that percent off. And I used pink and blue. And then I also used uh, this Sweet Surrender, the little blue um, embellishments. And these I got from Tuesday morning. Alrighty, and I'll go ahead and show you what I did. I made a, um, let's see if I can show you. <laughs> Almost fell, I got a little scared. Okay, I made this, uh, this is two of these, but from the like bling, uh, I guess spool. So it's an altered spool. I put two together, hot glued it, and then um, tried to make it shabby chic. I used one of these uh, uh, pink acrylic, doorknobs that I you get from Michaels and I put some flat back pearls around it. This is my memory box uh, die and I used a three inch uh, scalloped and three inch uh, round uh, punch, recollections punch and I just pu punched those out using the primrose paper. Then I use uh, Georgia Pacific for the white. Um, I had a little angel that was like this brass weird color so I painted it like a pinkish white and then I just layered my flowers and hot glued them on and I decided not to like cover the actual top of the spool because I really liked the way it looked. It came, came, I gave it a shabby chic you know layered look. Um, be very very careful when you uh, get this. Okay sorry about that my uh, phone cut off so I'm like ah in the middle of videotaping but I be very very careful because I do have a little stick pin that is in the side um, I made this flower that I used a button center and I just hot glued it I hot glued it I hot glued everything and then here I put this metal um, I don't know what this is it's like a metal embellishment that I colored it painted it pink pinkish white and then put a, a button I put hot glue on the center and this is just a little um, I guess uh, Roll, roll, <laughs> and I saw one of these done by I think it was like Live Art now. I, I think that's but that's who I was inspired for. I've seen a couple of these done, and I really thought they were super cute. So I thought I'd go ahead and, and try and make one that was kind of shabby chic, and you know, in the colors I put this. Um, it's like a bluish green uh, little button. This is that little, I guess, resin embellishment that I hot glued. This pink strand with the the, the beads, I actually um, came from that came from Michaels, and it's out of the recollections. It comes with a big long um, strand of pearls on the side, like this will be in it, and on the other side it has pearls. But I just use this. I use these little metal. Um, charms and I just hot glued them on and I have a key. This is like a little clock. That is like a little fairy with a mushroom that was gifted to me and then a little per perfume bottle and like a little feather. So and then on the inside if you can see I just have like different I have lace that I hot glued to the center and flat back pearls I put on the, the bottom and then what you do is you just wrap this up 
And this is my very first altered um, ribbon spool, I guess that's what you want to call. And then you can just, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this one handed. And I've got the uh, lace all mushed. Sorry. <laughs> I was like trying to do it like one handed. <laughs> and then you just wrap it back up. So, but that's what it looks like. And oh, let me show the bottom. The bottom, it just has uh, a little uh, circle of white corrugated or a white Georgia Pacific cardstock and then the um, Primrose uh, cut die cut or punch out cut that I put on the bottom. And then I'll put my name and put made especially for you. So, but that is what it looks like. Um, it's, you know, this is my very first one. So I was challenged and I, I hope you like it. Um, it's different. I, like I said, I tried to make it to where, you know, you would like to display it. And like on the inside, I just put like a few little cute charms. So that's my entry for your challenge. And I will have to PM you for your address and get this off to you. Hope you have an amazing birthday. And I'm a July baby too, so all us July babies, woohoo! <laughs> Anyhow, summer babies. Alrighty, well, I'm going to go ahead and scoot, and if you haven't checked out Johnny's channel, go on over to Tabasco14. Check out her amazing artwork, as she is just a super talented artist. Wonderful, sweet lady. And uh, Johnny, thank you from the center of my heart for uh, allowing me to participate in your amazing birthday challenge. And I hope you have a, a wonderful birthday. Have a great day and thanks for watching everybody.